I think I'll keep it deadly just to be able to clear some things. Oh, pillager to pillager. That's sick. We just need to hit that young auctioneer. Seems good. Ha, this guy's tough. Up, dude. Yeah, it hey, sucks not being able to coin Tim Pillager is the only thing about that situation, but... I think that's a good use of Sab. Hey, lights out. Job's done. As far as Sab goes in the matchup. The blade be thirsty. Thank hey, you. Lights out. We can react to his minion next turn. I don't think we need to, you know, spend our entire turn dealing with it. So next turn we can dagger deadly abyss it, or we just dagger poke it and shadow strike something. Yeah, now we push five. The cost of, of course, taking the extra two, but hey, man, that's a price I'll pay. Whoa, or did you see the spawn down? Okay. Don't worry. We can. How much better is a pro than a rank 500 plus legend player? Depends what point of the season you're talking 500 plus. Uh, legend ranking is a bad reflection of skill, but the pros have a very wide range. Like, there's some pros that uh, focus more on grinding than on uh, individual tournament performance, and of course, Thank you. that means. Maybe their overall skill level is worse than some of the other pros, but they perform pretty consistently or on par just because they play in like six times as many events and go to all the opens. And, and then there's other pros that focus more on streaming and content creation, and they're maybe a little bit worse than the tournament pros because they're, they're spending their time on content creation rather than on practicing the game. And then there's the pros that spend all day, every day practicing, and then, you know, always get top eight or better in tournaments they play in, like. Uh, Frozen would be a good example. He's only gone to like four events, but every single event he's gone to, he's gotten top eight or better. And none of you guys know who the hell I'm talking about because uh, he doesn't make any content. He just focuses on trying to play the game well, which is the least rewarding way to play Hearthstone. The, the big flaw in the anywhere. competitive scene. But I think most top 500 legend players could be pros if they made content. I think the skill level of most of the content creation pros is similar to that. Job's done. I think I want to draw cards more than I want to put SI7 in play. The scary part about this is when Rag comes down we don't have an answer so I was looking for like some way to stall if for an A drop comes down. Looks like we're not going for super thin this game. So I'm gonna put this out there so he has to deal with it. And I also get to beg him for four. And then let's turn the heat up on him. We're gonna buff Cthune with Blade of Cthune, we're gonna play Cthune, and we're gonna try and make sure it kills him. Oh ho ho! Oh shit! Blade of Cthulhu OP as fuck, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's so juicy. So juicy. He's dead. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh. Card's busted, man. That's why we eviscerated his face. Right there. <laughs> it pressures him to overkill our minions. Overkilling our minions means Grom or Rag. Also means kill him faster. Alright, this is going to be embarrassing when we miss Lethal. 4, 6... We don't have to play Cthune, we can kill him without Cthune. I'm at 3, 6... 6 plus 8 is 14... 14 plus 2 is 16, so he's dead 100%. Cthune.
back. There's the deck list if anyone's wondering. It's just, um, basically how this works is you take out the cold blood and you replace it with like a shadow step. You take out like conceal, replace it with a brand. You take out the other conceal, replace it with a shadow caster. The other cold blood with like a Cthune. And then you come out with like basically stock Miracle Rogue with, you know, the win condition from Leroy just completely shifted. Because now instead of Leroy, cold blood, cold blood, conceal, conceal, you have... Shadow Step, Bran, Shadow Collar, Blade of Cthune, Cthune as your win condition. So it's just a simple shift in win condition. I think it's incredibly worse than Standard Rogue, but it is a lot more fun. I couldn't quite get this to work as I described it, but if you think you can get the combo to work, send the footage to the email address below, and I'll cast the games of the dankest Cthunes and upload them here on my YouTube. If only we had that busted OP Purify card, we could make the Solanus work.